a woman that walks away from the pole example or basically the shadow example it's a very classically related rates problem so let's read we have a 16 feet tall pool uh, pole that's a fixed number it's not going to grow or anything else and also a six feet tall woman is included into the problem that's a fixed number as well constant the woman is walking away from the pole so direction on the right on my diagram with a constant speed of six feet per second so as you can see that there's a trigger word here per or i would say slash feet per second so that's some kind of speed or basically speed also means a rate so this is some kind of derivative for you to understand that's how i see that that's not a constant anymore even though it's a constant speed but it's a derivative of something and usually the speed is derivative of a distance so how fast is the tip of the shadow moving the tip of the shadow is moving in feet per second when she is 35 feet from the base of the pole so related rate problem is called related rates because we are having two rates and for now i don't see any i definitely see the two slashes so that's going to be two rates two derivatives but where they are what are the variables okay let's fix something let's call something x and see what's happening so the woman is standing over here at this moment when i made a picture a photo of the moon walking away uh, she is over here then i can call this distance x why it's x because it's changing the more she's moving to the right the bigger the x becomes right so that is a variable we can say x is a distance between the woman and the pole that's my solution let x be the distance between the woman let's call it just w and the pole that is a changing distance and derivative of that changing distance is going to give you speed with which the woman is walking away from the pole so uh, and then y can be a shadow right uh, a shadow or basically the distance between a woman and the tip of the shadow because uh, that is gives us better understanding of what is going on the definition is here's the tip of the shadow here is her shadow right you can imagine her head and like hands over here and here's her legs so y and then y be the distance between the woman so everything is the same between the woman and the tip of the shadow so now we define our two unknowns and these unknowns will give us related rates later so which uh, you know the in related rates problems one rate is usually given and the other rate is not given and we need to find it so which one is given and which one is not given here what is six so this says that the woman walks away from the pole with the given speed oh that's the given rate what that rate is that is my dx over dt the derivative of the distance between the woman and the pole is six so that's the given rate so i will write down dx over dt is six then which rate is not given they ask us to find how fast the tip of the shadow is moving so that means dy over dt which is also changing you don't understand why it keeps changing why actually keeps shrinking or maybe not we don't know how how yeah it's maybe like stretching like so uh, and why is changing when the woman is moving away from the pole so here are my two rates now i need to build equation for uh, those variables but also let's write down what else do we have 16 is there and six those are heights what is 35 35 is the moment at which i want to check how fast the tip of the shadow is moving and she is 35 feet away from the pole 
that means x. My x is a distance between the woman and the pole. So I also have x equals 35. And we don't plug it right away. Since we don't have any other equations here, we don't have volumes of the sphere, which we usually know, or anything else, the only thing I can see to use are triangles. They are similar triangles here. So using similar triangles, I can find that, let's add x plus y, x plus y, and then divide everything by 16, that's the left side of the bigger triangle, and that will give us y divided by 6. Did you catch uh, the two, two triangles idea? The big triangle is over here. The smaller triangle is over here. X and Y, 16 and 6. Now, having this, we can uh, solve for Y and plug it into, and then find a derivative finally. So from here, I will solve for Y. Do you, want, do you need help solving for Y? Let me help you. Uh, for example, cross multiplication, not all instructions like using the terminology cross product. Basically, you're dividing, you're multiplying by each denominator to get rid of the fractions. That just makes sense. So I'm multiplying by 6. It will give me 6x plus y. And then I'm multiplying by 16. It will give me 6 and y. That's what it means to do cross product. Then I will distribute 6x plus 6y equals 16y. And then I will collect 6x equals 10y. And then y is 6x over 10. If you simplify, it's going to be 3 fifths over x. I'm, I divide it by 2. That's my y. Finally, I want to find uh, the derivative of what? So the I want to find the derivative of x plus y because that's where the whole thing is happening, right? That's how fast the shadow is moving away uh, from the pole. That's what they want us to know. So derivative of, with respect to t, of course, x plus y is going to be now we can plug our y over here before we differentiate. And it's going to be derivative with respect to t. x plus 3 fifths x. Then we can collect the coefficients together. It's going to be 3 fifths plus 5 fifths. That's 8 fifths. 8 fifths. And finally, dx with respect to t. That's almost the answer. We are almost done. What do we else we need to do? So we are looking for derivative of the, the change of the distance x plus y. The change apparently depends on the related rate, the distance with the speed of the distance with which the woman walking away from the pole. One of those rates is given. The x over dt is given. So we can plug it in. The x over dt is 6. The answer is 48 over 5. 48 over 5. So, it is interesting to notice that, that the rate of change of the tip of the shadow is independent of the position of the woman. So, it's also independent of the value of x. As you can see, it doesn't really matter what my x is. That's how physics works. And also be careful with units, but in this case, everything was pretty straightforward. We are working with feet per second. So I can say that the answer is also feet per second. This is pretty interesting problem. And it's interesting to imagine how the shadow is moving when we are moving uh, away from the light and how the height of the, all the objects are given and so on. So that's pretty interesting how you can imagine what x and y will give you together, but the, how also they do interact separately when you differentiate those variables.
Thank you for watching.